Now think back, think way, way back in a grade school. Remember when they told you things, certain things that would always stick with you or you would always use, such as the Pythagorean theorem, being an adult is fun, cursive would be the only type of handwriting you use post grade school. Remember things like that? Well, speaking of the latter, cursive. So I use cursive right now, but I really only use it for only one certain time, and that is when I write my signature. And what I am correlating to that into the fashion world is that I, I personally feel that everybody has kind of that signature look, whether it's what they may actually look best in or maybe what they like the most. Think of it kind of like a proverbial thumbprint. And I never really took the time to find that out for myself. And I might not even find on this video. I don't know. But I hope this video kind of inspires you to either think about that or what I personally like to do is experiment. So let's get into today's video. Hey everyone, my name's Hayes, also known as The Shoe Vet. Hope everybody's doing well. Today's video, we're going over a couple different looks. I will be playing with different cuts and silhouettes to kind of find my signature look. And again, this, this video is meant to make you think, make you experiment. So with that being said, let us go ahead and jump into the first look. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the line of demarcation is, but for the purpose of this video, we'll say that post-September is when we get into what we call Cody season. You know, lattes, Uggs, sweatsuits, hoodies, everything like that. And with that said, that is gonna be the first look. So this is gonna be from one of my favorite brands in, the entire, in my entire existence. Amy Leon Dore, it is it's a straightforward uniform sweatsuit. It is the oatmeal hoodie. I can't remember what exact season. I want to say it was fall, winter 21, if I'm not mistaken. Oatmeal sweatpants. And then one of New Balance's 992s with Teddy Santos as creative directors, all right? And it all goes, it's a uniform color. I'm not really doing anything too special here. It is very plain. It is very basic. I would say the proportions here are fairly even. The hoodie adds a little bit of bulk to me. Just, just a little bit, you know, I'm working. Hey, I'm in the gym. Don't get me wrong, I'm in the gym putting that hard work in, but I'm not as bulky as this sweatsuit may make it seem. But I think it still fits me, you know, fairly well. Fairly well, okay? Not really doing too much, not reinventing anything like that. It's just basic, plain and basic, okay? And I think this is a very, very safe look for me. I, I really don't think anyone can go wrong with this, no matter your body size, type, height, whatever. Um, I think it's just, a pretty well-rounded look. Now moving on to the second look, uh, we're gonna change the proportions a little bit. So this look is gonna be a little bit more of a crop look and I actually styled this two different ways. So the first one is going to be with the Fear of God, I wanna say it's part of the seventh collection. It's going to be the three-fourth sleeve hoodie, uh, grays on it, it's the one pictured right here in my background. The pants, this, so the hoodie is gonna go into, and again, one, another one of my favorite brands right now, Greg Lauren. These are his, I think they're military cargo pants from this past season in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. And then that's going to go down into some Rick Owen Ramones. These are gonna be the low top ones, but it has a little silk wrap. And I believe that is from the Hustler collect collection, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, you guys correct me in the comments down below, but I believe it's from the Hustler collection. Now, what was I thinking about this one, all right? So the crop look going into slim legs makes me seem, maybe it's a little bit taller, because it adds more, it adds the illusion of a little bit more length to my leg, which is good for guys like me because I am on the shorter side. Now I say it's good for guys like me in a way, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, for shorter men, own your height, you know, just, just own it. You know, if, if you're 5'6", six, you're 5'6". Six. It just is what it is. The color scheme of it works well for kind of making this illusion too as well because they are all of a darker tone. So they all kind of blend together, kind of, sort of. Just, just bear with me if you will with that, all right? With that being said, I did change this look up a little bit to have a crop hoodie. So this hoodie is going to be from the Yeezy Gap collection. And man, what a time, what a time that was with everything. But yes, uh, it's gonna be the crop hoodie and kind of like this kind of burgundy fuchsia-ish 
color. And yes, it does add a little bit of a break and because this is a little bit more of a bold color. Um, I think it still goes well with the outfit and maybe actually fits a little bit more, but the color again kind of has that break into it. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. Now with this third outfit, whoa boy, <laughs> this one, this one I was just having this complete fun with, okay? This is the complete opposite of my body type, okay? So I am a very, you know, slim fit guy and this is gonna be a very, very big, big outfit on me, okay? Giving heavy Michelin man vibes. So you can probably tell from the look and probably even from the shoes, the inspiration from this outfit. This is gonna be definitely based off a very big, but also controversial brand, Balenciaga. Now I am definitely not going to be dropping a thousand plus for their oversized hoodies, 2000 plus for their baggy jeans. Well, I technically already did drop a lot for the shoes because they are by Balenciaga, but I definitely wanted to recreate this look. On the top is gonna be an Essentials black hoodie. I think this hoodie dropped, this knitted hoodie was like two, three years ago. I can't really remember right now off the top of my head. The jeans are by Jaded London. These are the Colossal jeans. And then these shoes are the Tyrex shoes, okay? Now, this outfit, I know the trend, the saying is, wear the clothes, don't have the clothes wear you. Are the clothes kind of sort of wearing me in this one? You can say yes. You can say this outfit doesn't really compliment your body features, et cetera, et cetera. And I would agree. But it's just so fun looking. I, I'm sorry, it's, this is just a fun looking outfit for me. You can, you know, especially with the neon green in the shoes and you see I have the, you know, chain on the side. I, I just like it. It is kind of, it is kind of like a dopey, kind of a dopey swaggy outfit. Or maybe I'm just really lost in the mid 2000s with the giant white tees. I, I don't know, but, um, <laughs> but, I, I just really enjoy this outfit uh, quite a bit and I really enjoy wearing those shoes too as well. I don't wear them too much uh, to be, I don't wear them too much to be straightforward about it, but I did enjoy, you know, just the loftiness of this outfit just in general, okay? So is it is it something that compliments me the best? Absolutely not, but is it something that I do enjoy wearing? Absolutely so. Now, last but not least, this is my personal favorite, and this is also based off of how I even act in person. So if you actually know me, I give off heavy grandpa vibes. New shoes, new shoes. I mean, look at me, I even, I'm even wearing aviator glasses. These are typically the glasses that I wear, okay? My attitude and everything like that can definitely be you know, known as the cranky old man sometimes. So this next outfit is gonna be more of a kind of a funky kind of retro vibe, kind of look of things, all right? So this is going to be, the top is going to be, again, one of my favorite vibes, Amy Lee on door. It is the racer knit jersey top. I did do a review on this. I think it was either the video before last one, one of those two. Uh, but the shirt did drop in the, on their most recent collection. The pants are gonna be the first time I actually bought a pair of pants by Gallery Department. And I know that one's a little bit controversial too because apparently they're just customized Levi's and everything like that. But I actually do, I, I kinda like them. I, I really do like them in this bold yellow color. And the shoes are just, man, I think there's some old dress shoes I've had for a good, good, I can't even remember the brand of them, but you could honestly just wear any kind of black shoes. I probably should have worn boots. I think boots would have gave this a lot more of a retro vibe look, but hey, you know, it, it is what it is. You guys get where I'm trying to go with things. Now, I love me some flared pants. I have been on a flared pant run for the past year, okay? I do not really care too much what is on trend or whatever. But flare pants, man, just does something for me. I, I can't exactly put it in the words, but I just love the look of a really nice flare pant look. And how this outfit went for me is, I did I tuck it in? Yes, and there is gonna be obviously a bit of a break there, kind of my midsection, but because it's tucked in and the pants kind of sit slightly, just ever so slightly above my waist too as well, 
The pants, they yes, they do flare at the bottom, but they are fairly slim, okay? So it does give slightly, again, the illusion of having elongated legs. If I wear boots, you know, I will be looking a little bit taller, okay? Throw on a jacket over this, especially when it gets a little bit colder, maybe in that cozy season two as well, and I think that would make it that much better. But you guys get kind of the overall look, and especially, again, man, with the glasses and my attitude and stuff in general. This is actually personally my favorite. This might actually be it for me, okay? Uh, there may be a part two to this video. I haven't really decided just yet, but if not, I would definitely say this will be my favorite. Now, I'm not gonna be going out, you know, like I'm going to a retro disco party, you know, almost every day, don't get me wrong, no. But for me, like, this is, this is my personal favorite, all right? I think that is my thumbprint right there in the fashion world. So, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video first and foremost. And then secondly, I hope you guys, you know, just, just take some time to think, hey, what is it that I truly like wearing? If you did not care about any type of, you know, societal pressure or fashion rules or gatekeepers or anything like that, what would you personally wear? I think that's, that's the big question. What would you personally wear, okay? Let me know in the comments down below. Put an outfit together. You guys can follow me on Instagram too as well. The handle's at drhaze91. Make sure you guys follow me. The link will be in the picture below. Tag me. Put a picture up, put a post up, tag me in it. Hey, this is what I, this is what I would uh, wear, whatever like that. Just let me know or put in the comments down below here, whichever, let me hear from you guys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys become a client. You do that by hitting the description down below, as well as the notification bells to be notified of next appointment. Again, follow me on Instagram, the handle's at drhaze91. Please have a great day. See you next video.